Welcome to Sugar Freedom. I'm Catherine, introducing my fast fat loss plan. It's a 14 day plan and we're coming up on Valentine's Day. So it's 14 days till Valentine's Day. And I'm going to share this plan with you. It's a rapid fat loss plan, including food, fitness, and recovery. So it starts with food. Now I am the sugar freedom woman, so this is going to be a sugar free plan and it's actually going to be a ketogenic plan. Now be aware, I am not a doctor or registered dietitian, so always check with your doctor or a healthcare professional before starting a nutrition and fitness program. I'm sharing with you what has worked for me for years and years. I have a basic everyday sugar freedom food plan, but if I've got a special event coming up, or if I want some rapid fat loss, or if I want to tighten up and lean out, this is the plan that I use. We're gonna talk about macronutrients today. Three macronutrients, protein, carbohydrates, and fat. Let's begin with protein. One gram of protein per pound of ideal body weight. Now, my ideal body weight is, I like to be right around 123, 123 even though I'm only five foot one, but I carry a good amount of muscle. I tend to have a natural hourglass figure, so 123 works for me. But I'm gonna go with protein grams per day of 110, so 110 grams of protein per day. The second number is carbohydrates. I'm going to keep those carbohydrates to 20 grams or less of total carbohydrates per day. You can use fitday.com if you want to track your macronutrients and find out how many grams you're consuming. I'm going to add a picture and a list of my favorite above ground vegetables. These are my keto friendly, freedom friendly carbohydrates that I eat on my 20 gram maximum plan. And you've got 14 different vegetables. Well, one is a fruit, one is lemon juice with a one cup serving and also how many grams of carbohydrate per cup serving for each of those. So to recap, a gram of protein per pound of ideal body weight, 20 grams maximum of carbohydrates, and then fat up to satisfaction. So enough fat to get satisfied with a cap for me of 80 grams of fat per day. You will notice the protein is a bit higher than the fat in terms of grams higher protein grams than fat grams because this is a leaning out program, a 14 day program for getting leaner. I might go with a little bit more fat and a little bit more protein if what I was trying to do was get off of sugar or improve mood going more of a ketogenic plan. This is gonna be a little higher in protein, a little bit lower in fat for getting lean. That's it. You've got protein, you've got carbohydrates, you've got fat, 80 grams maximum on the fat. And so I am going to be listing those carbohydrates and then I'm going to be creating, I've got a little one page, one page fat loss plan that I'm going to be putting up on my blog, which is katherinetraining.com. So if you want to see these printed out, written out, go to katherinetraining.com. The next component, which is so essential, is the training. The thing that I had to change back in 2008 to overcome obesity was even though nutrition is 80% of the program, that 20%, which is the training, I had to change that in order to make the nutrition work because the training that I was doing, so much cardio, literally I do an hour and a half of cardio five times a week. And what was happening is it was increasing my appetite. It was raising my cortisol. It was making me tired. And so I was doing so much cardio that I was actually making it impossible to follow my food plan. So I had to get the exercise right. And once I got my training right, then I was able to adjust my nutrition to a way that worked in order to lose fat permanently. So what was that adjustment in my training? It was switching from lots and lots of endurance based cardio to targeted training with intervals. And so I have actually 16 lifts, but I've got 14 resistance exercises that I'm going to write out and I'm going to give to you that you're gonna be using for your training during this 14 day program. Let me just list them for you. We're gonna be doing supersets. So a squat and a push up, a Romanian deadlift in a row, reverse lunge and bicep curl, forward lunge and tricep extension, T-bend overhead press, legs, one leg stand, which is when you're standing up from a seated position, and chin up or dumbbell pullover, 
goblet squat and reverse fly. And then the bonus, the eighth superset, Bulgarian split squat and butterfly raises. So you've got 16 different resistance exercises there. The foundational exercises are the squat, the push-up, the row, the Romanian deadlift, and the curl or the extension. So that's your foundational five exercises. But I have found that these that these exercises, these 16, let's call them the sweet 16, <laughs> these 16 exercises are perfect for creating a resistance training program that could last you, you know, easily for a 12 week program, let alone a 14 day program. So I'm going to be listing those, the reps and the sets, and those will be up at katherinetraining.com so you can see them written out. But just to share the concept with you now, what we're doing is if you've been doing a lot of endurance based cardio and that hasn't been working, we're going to shift to resistance training. We're going to maintain and build muscle, which also helps to maintain and build metabolism, mood, blood sugar control. Muscle matters. Muscle is, it's, it's almost miraculous in when you add strength training to your lifestyle, how much it can just enhance your life all around. So that's the other component. We've got our nutrition and we've got our training. We've also got intervals. When I finish my superset training, I add a Tabata interval at the end. And basically that's just taking eight body weight exercises. I like dance-based exercises for a Tabata round, which is a little bit of high intensity in interval training to cap off your resistance training session. And I believe you'll find it's very, very effective. You're going to be doing that three days a week. On the off days, I want you to do physical activity that you enjoy, whether it's yoga or dance or walking your dogs or playing with your dogs, physical activity that is enjoyable, but not just hitting it hard every day, getting that good recovery that we need in order to maintain or even build muscle, which is so important on this program for getting leaner. And of course, the third element is recovery. Recover, rest, take care of yourself. I enjoy guided meditations, music. Remember, it's so important to be good to yourself so your cortisol levels don't rise. And also, the idea is that we're replacing snacking and overeating with activities that we enjoy so that we can recover, which will also help you to lean out. So those are the components on this fast fat loss plan. Those are the components for this fast fat loss plan, food and nutrition, training, rest and recovery. Said, go to katherinetraining.com where you can see these exercises listed. You can also see those above ground vegetables listed and then you'll have everything you need in front of you for this fast fat loss plan. Food and nutrition, training, rest and recovery. But always remember, I want you to discover your optimal eating and exercise plan. So always eat for yourself, be well, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you back here soon on the Sugar Freedom Channel.